Hi, this is Margaret Maloney, and welcome to the Death Dhamma Podcast. Together, we will consider life, death, and impermanence. Because in between birth and death, we lose things, not just our glasses and our keys. We lose identities, relationships, ideas, and more. But what we can gain right now is facing this together, and we will gain freedom, peace, and progress on our path. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Margaret Maloney saying, I'm glad you are here. Today is a quick discussion about this podcast and Buddhist teachers and Buddhism a little bit. What does all that mean? What it means is I wanted to share some thoughts with you about season two versus season one in a way that I can manage your expectations, let you know what's coming, and ask you to consider who are our teachers and do all of our teachers have to be Buddhists? And the reason I say that is in season one of the Death Dhamma podcast, every person, every guest that we listened to and learned from was either a Buddhist monk, a Buddhist nun, or working as a Buddhist chaplain. These were all people who are specifically Buddhist spiritual teachers. And there was a reason for that, and it was because the podcast came from the idea of asking other Buddhists, especially Buddhist teachers, about their experiences with death and grief and loss and, you know, how did Buddhism help them and what advice would they give to us? And now the podcast continues in season two, and... As I began to look around for people to speak to, some of the people who attracted my attention were not necessarily Buddhist or they are Buddhist, but they are, you know, lay people like me. I am a lay person. I'm not a monk or a nun. I'm not a chaplain. And although I write about death dhamma, And I do, you know, share passages from the Pali Canon because that's what comes from my tradition. Because I think, you know, I I come from the tradition of being a Theravada Buddhist. It's really my life experience that allows me to feel comfortable to bring this to you. And when I write to draw upon the Pali Canon, it is the teachings my life experience, and what I learn from some of my own teachers who are specifically Buddhist monks in in my tradition. With that framework and that context in mind, there are going to be, this season, people who are absolutely Buddhist spiritual teachers. There are going to be people who may be Buddhist academic teachers who also practiced Buddhism. I actually kind of fall into that category as well. There might be people who are in tune with Buddhism, but don't practice a specific Buddhist tradition. They might draw more on what we might call Buddhist philosophy, where people appreciate some of the teachings from Buddhism as a way to help them live their lives. And there are going to be people who are 100% not Buddhist. And I just want you to know that I thought about this before I set this up and interviewed people who are not Buddhist to bring them to you. And the reason that I included them is that why would we exclude valuable experience and valuable learnings from others just because they come from a different belief system. These people can share with us the experiences they've had in their lives with 
the loss of a thing, you know, an idea, a relationship. Everyone has these experiences, whether they view these experiences through our Buddhist lens or not, whether they specifically use the terms, the Four Noble Truths, and there is suffering, and there is impermanence, and there is clinging and attachment. Whether or not that's the way in which they view and speak, these are people who still have lessons for us. And I believe that you and I, in listening to these people talk about the losses they've experienced in life and how they've gotten through those losses and what has helped them, we can use that in our Buddhist practice. We can benefit from their life experience and we can bring Buddhism to the contemplation of the experiences of these other individuals. As we move forward, you will know which of our guests come from Buddhism and which do not. And I invite you to listen fully and learn and apply the life lessons that these people are generously sharing with all of us and apply them to your practice. And as always, to channel it through your Buddhist tradition because I come from one tradition, but we don't all share that same tradition. And that's beautiful that there are different ways that in which we can be Buddhists. And in welcoming experiences from people outside the world of Buddhism, we're also admitting that it's wonderful, the different ways in which we can be humans and have a spiritual path. And as you see fit, Bring what you've learned or what you've heard from our guests, any of them, all of them, whether they are Buddhists or not, bring those lessons and the questions and concerns you have to your Buddhist spiritual teachers. And in this way, together, we continue to grow on our paths as we navigate the kinds of impermanence that we face in our lives and how we can use this impermanence to really help us be ready. So that even though we're talking about small deaths, each of these small deaths help us become ready for the ultimate impermanence. Thank you, everyone. You've been listening to the Death Dhamma Podcast with your host, Margaret Maloney. Thank you so much for being here. Come find me on margaretmaloney.com, M-A-R-G-A-R-E-T-M-E-L-O-N-I.com. And until we meet again, may you be well, may you be happy, may you be at ease, and may you be free from suffering. Bye for now.